people are looking for fire but people talk less of karata Greetings in Jesus name and welcome to another edition of the Legacy Lives On here on God's Heart TV. And today we're going to be sharing with you some uh, instructive words of wisdom from Prophet TB Joshua on the subject of maintenance. So not just about receiving from God, no, but learning how to maintain what you receive from God. And the specific subject here is actually the anointing of the Holy Spirit, especially in the first clip we're about to show you. But the principles Prophet TB Joshua shares in these clips taken from the live services broadcast on Emmanuel TV, these are principles that can apply to every sphere of life. So... Be blessed right now as you watch in Jesus' name. One thing we must know about this anointing of God. Anointing of God, what is most important is maintainer. It is not to receive, but to maintain. That is the biggest, and this is where problems lie on all over the world. Anybody can be used to do this to change it to do this to raise the dead but to maintain this anointing because anointing attracts persecution anointing of god attracts condemnation anointing of god attracts intimidation just name those things it attracts them it's like honey when it drops as it attracts fame, attract popularity, attract everything, Google thing, also attract those things, condemnation, humiliation, persecution, this and that. But <laughs> to receive it, you can, I can just say in the name of Jesus, in particular, you will receive it, you begin to, they will now say, hey, but to maintain it, because the world will rise against you. So this is why we need karata. It is only karata that can maintain the anointing of God. Anointing of God is like a lamb. When you put light, you put light in the lamb. The fire there is power. Why the oil is karata? And if there is no oil in the lamp, would light burn? Which one is most important? Oil is karata, the light is power. Let me lamp there. Let me show a demonstration of what I'm talking about. You know, when you want to prepare light, you just put matches, you put fire. It becomes burning. If there is no oil, or if the oil is diluted, it's another problem. When the oil is diluted, maybe the oil is mixed with water. The fire there will <laughs> conscionable power. Conscionable war. But we don't know this the all over the world. Little anointing, we fly into the United States, United Kingdom, United this, we begin to say, praise the Lord. And those things, wet, worldly places, material and whatever, will rubbish the anointing in your life. You come back to whom you are and now rely on wet, not anointing again. That is why today we can have rich ministers of God and rich ministers of God. Are they rich in anointing of God? Anointing of God has food. Just like you are eating rice physically. You know, it's a spirit being. He eats. And what does he eat? He eats karata.
he eat what? If you don't give him food, your case will be worse than those who have not received at all. It's better not to receive the anointing than to receive it and lose it. You have the lamb there? Bring it. Look at what I was talking about. This light is a gift. The oil inside is karata. If there is no oil, this light cannot continue to burn. The food for this light is here. He eats this food. If there is no more food here, you will not see any light again. So if you now have a gift now without this karata, what kind of gift is that? It cannot live. And if this oil is diluted, if you now put water inside, you will see this light will begin to epileptic. You cannot see that it's not born wet again. This is why what has happened to us is through many of us were anointed by God. But when the character is diluted, what is going to happen? We say, out of thousand people, pray, pray, pray. It may be only one person that will say, praise the Lord. He will take place. But at the beginning, it was not like that. The whole thing was slow. It was happening. And people were seeing the mighty power. But gradually, it go down, 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 down. It become one person or no. It means something is happening to the character. People are looking for a gift. People are looking for fire. But people talk less of character. Impartation. Impartation. Yes, you can impart this power. You can transfer this power. Yes. If the power is transferred to your body now, do you have the character to keep it? Because your character now cannot keep the power. Unless you change, you, you have a new habit, you give the normal food, which is fruit of the spirit, not fruit of the flesh. If you want to become God's person, God's person, you must follow his process. You can, you, you, now you agree with me why many of you are still going through what you are going through. Because God is busy build character. Because if that's no character, whatever you achieve, you may likely lose it all. Tell your neighbor, I know why I'm going through what I'm going through. God is busy build character. Yes, that character will help you when you are at the place of your destiny. It will help you to sustain, to stand the challenges of time. God is trying to build character now. If you if you don't get that character now, whatever you achieve, you likely lose it. Character is a tonic. Karata is the oil in the lamp. Whatever you achieve is that flame, the light that is burning. But the oil in the lamp is karata. And if there is no oil in the lamp, what will happen to the lamp? It will. The, the, your business will off. One business will off. One thing will off. One, 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 one influence will off. One, the glory will off. Popularity will off. You say, where is this man? They can't hear him again. The oil is dry. That is character. <laughs> when you get home, you need lamb. If I were you, just put lamb on your altar. I know you have everything you need. The electricity is there, but electricity is apart. Put lamb on your table. It's a symbol that the light there 
they are, they are proceed. The oil inside the lamb, a character. Anytime you fail to put oil and you try, you see the light off. That is your life. When you put lamb on your altar, it's a symbol of you, you, you is that lamb. If you look at my altar, my prayer room, you see lamp there. But there's light, there's electricity. But people say, why that lamp? Yes, it's, that is a symbol. And when the lamp, when the oil is gradually drying, you see the kind of dim light, which you will not be able to identify anything with that dim light. This is the life of many of us today. Your process is not enough, it's causing you trouble. What is not done well is not done at all. They have given you a name. You don't know what to do again because what you have is not enough, it's no longer enough because the oil is dry. In the situation where you become so great without God's character, it means the end is going to be bad. It may not be a middle way, but the end of that journey is going to be very, very bad. So when you see someone who is great without God's character, don't, don't fancy him, don't, don't, don't pray to be like him. Don't admire him. Pray for him. Because the end is the owner, not beginner. When we start to read, say, at your mark, said, go, we start running. The end there, we declare winner. Not here, not midway. So, the beginner is not the owner, but the war. The finisher. So whatever you become now, it's too soon to 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 relax and think you have arrived. Because it is the end that will put your record straight. The middle way and the beginning cannot bring any record about you. It is record, off record, middle way, beginning, off record, but the end, that is what will put record straight. Now, it is not too late now to reverse. You are too fast. You occupy, you achieve this, you achieve that, you have this, you have this business, you have that business, you have that the pro, you have that the too rich, popular, well no houses, property all over the world, but the character is a zero. It's better not to have those things. Because character is the one that maintain whatever position you we, we occupy. Character. Godly character. This is a subject Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke about, emphasized so much, both publicly and privately, the importance of godly character. And I just love that example, the practical example of the lamp with the oil, because truly, truly, today, there seems to be a greater emphasis placed on, on the flame, on the fire, on the lights, on the proceeds, the results, whether it's in ministry or your career, business, finances. But Prophet T.B. Joshua is redirecting our focus back to the foundation, back to relationship, our relationship with God through his word, by his spirits. Because godly Character is the natural overflow of a deep relationship with God. That's the secrets of maintenance. 
as, as the word of God lives in you, as the word of God dominates you and, and saturates you, then yes, naturally it will influence your conduct, your attitude, your behavior, your character, the way you handle life's tests and trials. <laughs> At this point, I, I want to remind you of a question and answer session with Prophet TB Joshua on Facebook. This was way back in January 2014, and Prophet TB Joshua actually addressed this very subject. A question was asked to him about this very subject, and the, the answer is very, very inspiring. So the question asked was this, how do you maintain your anointing in the midst of temptation and crisis and here is prophet tb joshua's answer as it was posted on the official facebook page of tb joshua ministries let's read together if you are with god in truth and faith whatever comes as a blessing or trial will be what God allows. Nothing can come to you without God's knowledge if you are with him in truth and faith. If you are called by God from beginning to the end, your journey has been documented. <laughs> And nothing outside your documentary will happen without God's knowledge. God is mostly concerned about your beginning and end. Because of his name, he will make you fit for the journey. Fitness means he has prepared you against your enemy and also prepared you for your friends. I have a covenant with God. I cannot ask for anything outside what is written in the covenants. What I will achieve in this world is in a book. I am carrying every day. I just have to open the pages. Outside, the book is not mine. Wow, <laughs> these are deep words, deeply profound words from Prophet C.B. Joshua. But taking this answer, coupled with the clips that we watched earlier, what is, what is the practical lesson for, for, for me and you today? Well, when you take care of your relationship with God, the evidence will be seen in your godly character, yes, but also in the way that God supernaturally steps in and sees you through the tests and trials that arise in your journey of faith. Because you are with him in truth and in faith, you know that he is with you. You have that unshakable confidence that he is with you. He is aware of what you're passing through. It's part of your documentary and therefore nothing will shake your faith in God or break your relationship with God. I remember also many years ago, Prophet T.B. Joshua telling us that one of the greatest things that attests to the anointing of the Holy Spirit in his life is, is the trials, the persecution he has passed through, which Ordinarily, no man could endure. No one could overcome without God's involvement. 
Yes, this actually reminds me of what Gamaliel said, the famous words of Gamaliel in the book of Acts chapter 5 from verse 38 to 39, when he said, leave these men alone. He was talking to the Sanhedrin about the, the great apostles of faith. He said, leave these men alone, for if their purpose or activities are of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only find yourself fighting against God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us for today's edition of The Legacy Lives On here on God's Heart TV. Please share with us the lessons, the lessons of faith and life you learned from the message of Prophet T.B. Joshua in the comments below. Several people have asked us about the, the links of the original clips we're showing to you, and they're all taken from live services at the Scone, which faithful people of God have uploaded to YouTube. So we'll include the links of the original videos in the description below. God bless you all, and remember always, seek God's heart to see life clearly. Thank you, Jesus.